everyone. This is Mike again here from Rig Rundown, and we're joined by Dick Dickerson from Battle Smash. Dick, how are you doing? Dick. Hey, Dick. Oh, hey, Tim. What's up? How's it going? Not too bad, buddy. Oh, that's good. That's good. Mike, by the way. And uh, we're joined here, and uh, we're very uh, uh, happy to be here because so many people have been asking for this episode, and I just got to say, it's such an honor to be here. Yeah, man. It's good to talk to you, too, buddy. Good to yeah, talk to yeah. you. Okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Still, it's Mike, not Buddy. All right, so let's, uh, what do you say we start off with guitars? Yeah, why not, why not? Uh, uh, obviously this one is missing something. Can you please explain uh, what we're looking at here? Oh well, yeah, well I had my uh, Guitar Tech booth build me up this sucker. Uh, it's a headless model. We got the uh, we got the EMG as well as my uh, signature pickup, the, uh, the Dick Bucker. The Dick Bucker, wow, yeah. wow. Are those on the market yet? Um, they, they market them under uh, Dime Bucker for some reason, but, uh... You know, big uh, companies like this always get things mixed up. Mine says Dick Bucker, though. Oh, wow, yeah. yes, yes. So I've got the only original one. Very nice, very nice. And how do you even tune this thing, like... Oh, well, they're all down here. It's on a floating uh, R-Trem uh, Oh, system. okay. Yeah. And you went with the R-Trem instead of the H-Trem. Uh, I was wondering, what, what was the reasoning for you picking that trem? Well, I didn't really uh, pick any of this. I had my guitar tech build this up for me. I, I prefer to play like inferior uh, instruments. Okay. Um, I find that if I use a more expensive guitar, all the other guitars in the band, they get uh, embarrassed and they leave. So. Very Jack White of you. I yeah. really like that. Really yeah, like this, that. This barely works, but. Of course, of course. Is, is this your main? Yes, uh, and I also have my secondary, also built by my guitar tech. Okay. Uh, this is it over here. Um, it's also poorly made. Wow. Uh, for the wow. same reason. I guess legally we can't call that a Stratocaster, but uh, I love the lipstick pickups. That's a very interesting choice for your genre of music. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. All right, now that we've learned uh, a little something about your number one and number two guitars, uh, how about we go ahead and move on to the pedal board? Yeah, why not? Let's, uh, let's take a gander. Perfect, perfect. So I, I noticed that you have a wide selection of pedals. Yes. Um, now, uh, are there some that you consider redundant or do you use them all? Uh, redundancy is the name of the game with this pedal board. I have multiple things to do a lot of different things. Uh, we got the two the two boosts on there, the Echo Plex uh, preamp as okay. well as the Tube Screamer as a boost. Mm, yes. And um, we've got, uh, I've also got a boost on this pedal that I use for distortion. That's the uh, the most expensive crybaby. I can't remember what it's called. Gotcha, gotcha. And um, what else we got on there? I noticed that you got the Diamond and the Celestial Seasonings. Now, uh, do you find that they both work well with the tone that you're trying to portray? Uh. And to tell you the truth, that it sounds like garbage, but I need to keep it that way. Very nice. You know, so fuck with the other bands. Understandable, understandable. Hey, Soundcheck Warriors, right? That's right. <laughs> That's right. Now, uh, I noticed that you have a book clamped on your uh, on your cable, and I read in your autobiography that it has something to do with the uh, load of mids. Now, can you explain any of that? that? Yeah, basically I run out of the direct box mm -hmm. through the Necronomicron, which is a book of ancient evil, you know? Oh, okay, okay. And then that carries on into the amp. It does give a little bit of a, a mid boost, and if you step on it really hard, it, it makes a lot of static. Very nice, very nice. Well, hey, you know, speaking about your pedal board, uh, why don't we go through the chain? Uh, this is an amp, right? The bug era. Bagheera. This is what I use. The gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. So I noticed that there's a lot of uh, uh, switches by a lot. I mean, two. Uh, can you explain what both of them do? Uh, the power and standby is basically what's going on here, and then uh, she runs out into the whatever crank that is. Okay. There's a name down there, but uh, I don't have my reading glasses. Yeah, so it's so. obscured by. Yeah, that's fun. All right, hand sanitizer, here I come. Yeah. All right, uh, well, hey, this was great talking to you. Thank you very much, Dick Dickerson. Yeah, hopefully I'll see you again now. All right, yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's Mike still. Okay. All right, and now we're here with Dr. B. Dr. B, please introduce yourself. Uh, it's uh, Dr. William Cletus, Battle Smash, Esquire, the Seven Kings. Oh, that's phenomenal, that's phenomenal. I gotta say, I'm so excited to finally meet you. Like, I, I understand that uh, you have a lot of custom gear, and I gotta say, I own almost all of it. Now, speaking of gear, how about we get to it? What are you holding right here? This is a guitar. 
And uh, just like many other. Okay, all right. So uh, yeah, yeah, that's a, a, a lovely color. And I noticed that you went with the one pickup. Now, do you find that two pickups are a little bit too noisy for the type of music you want to portray? Are you speaking French? What's the pickup? All right. Um, yeah. So uh, uh, let's just carry on. Uh, anyways, uh, we got a. Uh, I see that you're not running wireless. You're running into a wired connection here. Is there any reason why you uh, decided to be rigged up to your rig uh, instead of being mostly untended? for the feeling of electricity and also I have a big problem with Bluetooth. Fantastic, fantastic. Alrighty, and uh, uh, is this your is this your main guitar? Uh, well, you know, uh, they built this for me. Uh, Brett built it for me. Uh, mm. Subpar mm. build. Uh, some people like to steal it, so yeah. yeah. But uh, you know, it does its thing and doesn't hold too much. I gotta tell you, having a custom signature from Brett, let's just say street prices go. Yeah, he gets fired daily. That's what I hear. Uh, now, uh, let's go ahead and carry on here. Obviously, uh, your chain is right here. Yes. How about we, uh, how about we start diving into this? I yes. noticed that, um, well, how about you explain what's going on here? So, uh, you know, I'm a big fan of the Chromatic Tuner by uh, Bose Health. And, uh, you know, uh, I have all three from three different generations. As you see here, uh, the TU-1, mm -hmm. which is circa 1971. And then the TU2, which I got off of uh, Kurt Cobain in a bad poker game that he lost. Mm -hmm. And uh, number the TU3 there, um, I, I got that uh, last week at a hawk shop for three dollars. And uh, yeah, you know, I gotta have three because you know you can never be too sure. Mm -hmm. And uh, not that they go down; they're solid as a rock. But uh, I mean, you'll see here. You know, you gotta tune them all at once here. And, that way you know you're accurate, as you can see. Oh, I, I can see what you're doing yes, there. Yes, 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 yes. And it adds to the sound, mm -hmm. like, great deal, a great deal, yeah. Oh, my goodness. You're every sound guy's, like, best dream ever. Yeah, I hate sound guys, eh? Oh, my goodness. Let's not get started. Uh, now, I notice that you're also using a Pogue. That, that's the Pogue, actually. Oh, the Pogue. The Pogue. Sorry, yeah. sorry. I... French is my first name. No problem, Steven. It's all good. Okay. Now, um, let's go ahead and uh, go into the amp here. Yes. Uh, uh, first of all, lovely shade of blue, but uh, uh, tell us what's on the inside. Oh, uh, we're actually running um, a combination of different vacuum tubes from an old fridge that I found. And, uh, yeah, Howes and Keitner, they, they did a great job. And uh, I stand behind it. It costs, like, 35 bucks. And... Uh, all right. Great, great little system, and uh, it, it lets me down every night, but I love it. Well, hey, when do-it-yourself projects work, right? <laughs> That's right. <yeah. laughs> now, I noticed that uh, uh, this was up here. Uh, is that for the tone, or is it because you like bad teams? Uh, mainly the tone, but also... Uh, I don't love this guy, eh? What can I say? I'm from Chicago, apparently. Oh, All righty. And uh, obviously protected by the gator, you know, you really can't, you really can't go wrong with that. Yeah, you know, sometimes it bites off your head, but mm -hmm. you deal with it and move on. Absolutely. Now, uh, is that your only guitar that you have? No, I do have another one. Uh, okay. I'll get it out. Um, oh, my hair. Gotta go to battle. Absolutely. So, this one... Um, I like this one the best, Ooh. mostly because it's black and missing a string. Okay. And uh, that, that definitely gives uh, weight when you're uh, playing up here and trying to do dick. I hate that guy, you know. Can you, can you tell him, like, I'm not talking to him and he owes me 30 bucks? I'll tell you what, we'll finish up with this and I'll go ahead and, uh, you know, play messenger, mm -hmm. so to speak. <laughs> now. Uh, I noticed that there's uh, there's two pickups here, but you seem very strongly uh, uh, in support of the single pickup on your other guitar. So some people refer to this as a dummy, but I call it stupid. And mm. uh, more politically, correct. it doesn't it doesn't uh, doesn't sound as good as this one. But mm. um, you know, I've had this one for a while. It's uh, seen a lot of shows in Croatia and Nicaragua. So you know, I got this in a 
Oh, I hear that people in Guam just drooled over that thing. Yeah, in Turkey, where they built it, um, delicious. a couple gobblers there, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, uh, I noticed that you only have one volume now. Was that was that a choice, or is that how the guitar kind of found you? What's the volume? Anyways, uh, we'll be back with the drummer shortly. All right, and finally, just to put this to bed, we finally, finally found time with Kyle from Battle Smash. Kyle, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Mike. Now, uh, you are the drummer, please. Uh, what are these? Uh, drums. Thanks, Kyle. And, um, just go to an ad. Alrighty, and we are back with Dick Dickerson. And uh, before we get to that tone check, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and hit that well, I guess like button because there's only two uh, two buttons that you can push. Now, we are here for a tone check. Dick, gotta tell you, very excited. I wanna feel the music come from that amp. All right. All righty. I suppose I'll give you a run through of my tones here. Sounds good. So uh, this is my clean tone. It's kind of a comes from the multi over tone pedal. Okay. With MDS technology, uh, kind of takes my tone and computerly AI, you know, adds some flavor to it. Mm, very nice, very nice. Yeah. And uh, I noticed that you use a, a, a number of overdrive pedals. Uh, uh, how about you give us a, um, a, a tone example uh, from the, your second track? Yes, why not? Uh, that would be getting into my car, I believe. So, yes, uh, yes. Yeah, I'm running through the 1970s to uh, tube streamer. Okay. And then I smash this pedal on here for a little bit of shock. <laughs> I'm not going to take Metallica's fucking garbage, you know what I mean? <laughs> I don't think anyone does anymore. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, so how about you run through a couple more tones? Uh, uh, I... Oh, I do have the solo tone, I suppose. I like to turn this <laughs> The Necronomicon, the Ancient Book of the Dead. Yes. Uh, if you want to run past that and then uh, watch it again with it activated, please do. Now, I heard that you mentioned the doc, and funny, funny thing is that he said that he owes you, like, I think it was thirty bucks. Or yes, something. he does owe me a large amount of money. I believe it's over thirty dollars. Oh, yeah. oh my goodness! He's always asking for cash. I don't know what he does with it, but uh, he comes back with pigeons. I do know that. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm talking about horse. He gets horse. Well, I've been to Costa Rica. Now, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, uh, bring it back to the doctor there, but uh, any final words that you want to say to your fans? 
Uh, fuck you guys. Um, I'll see you at the next show because uh, you have no real choice. Perfect, perfect. All right. We'll be right back with the doctor. All right, and we're back here with the doctor himself. That is we're Cletus Battle Smash Esquire 17. Very nice. <laughs> Still Mike. Now, we're going to go ahead and get into the tone example portion of this video. And uh, by all means, uh, take it away. Let's give her. Uh, okay, because, you know, be prepared. Three tuners at once uh, multiplies your sound. Absolutely. This was, this was- Don't cool. touch me. I'm sorry, doctor. Uh, now, uh, this was fantastic. Thank you very much for letting me uh, uh, be in the presence of greatness. And uh, do you have a, I don't, words. I'm saying YouTube was a bad call. <laughs> 